Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, that didn't go so well. Sorry about that, friends. Hang on a minute here. I ran into my light. I had it too close. Okay, trying to uh, just finish adjusting a few things. Hang on here. Need to get to my page. Hey, everybody. If you do not see a red live light up in the corner, then you are watching the replay. So welcome to the replay if that's the case. Hang on, I gotta get my volume down here. There we go. All right. So as my luck would have it, um, my upline just went live. <laughs> I thought I had timed it right because I know my people, my friends that watch me watch him and um, anyway, he's a little more exciting than I am. So, but we're just going to go with it here. I'm going to share this to a few places and oh, I didn't move the other light over here. Hang on just a second. Part of why it's dark. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, let me see. Let me make sure the lights are all good here. I think we're good. I don't think anything's in the way. All right. Um, let me share this to a few groups and. I'll be ready to go. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna share. There's Fergus. Fergus says hi also. And one more. Just a minute here. I've got to go through all 100 groups that I'm a member of, it seems. I mean, not that many. I probably need to clean up some of my group lists. A lot of these I'm looking here going, oh, wow. I haven't used that. Oh, my chair's all squeaky tonight. Used that in a while. I've been in that group. and I mean, you know, followed that group's happenings in a while. So, anyway, say hi. I would love to know you're here if you're watching. And while I open this up, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Jenny Killian. I am the owner of Sweet Creek Creations and an independent designer with Chalk Couture um, and the leader of Jen's Creative Chalkers. Uh, tonight, we are going to be adding to our holiday fun, making some more Christmas boards. Sorry, I'll put that out of the way so it's not distracting. With one of my all-time favorite phrases around the holidays. I love Clement Moore's um, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Love, love, love. Always have. Probably always will. And I love the phrase Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. So this is the silkscreen transfer we'll be using tonight to create this awesome board. So for those who may not be aware, you may not know what Chalk Couture is, we are a high-end DIY home decor company, and we specialize in these amazing adhesive reusable silkscreen transfers. They are, um, hey, Nancy. They um, peel real easily. And they stick to your surface just enough for you to push the chalk through the silkscreen, and then you peel it off, wash it, and use it again. We also specialize in our awesome Chalkology paste. And we this goes on wet, it dries hard, it stays on your surface, if it's a reusable surface, until you wash it off. And you just use some distilled water, spray it down, wipe it clean, and you're good to go. Our ink, however, oh, okay, back to the chalk. If you use it on wood or something along those lines, um, then obviously it's a one and done. With our boutique boards and our chalk surfaces and other chalk surfaces that you can get at other stores, um, you can wipe them off and reuse them. Our chalk ink is goes on wet and dries and then you heat set it so that it 
There it is. I don't know what he's doing over here. So that it then becomes permanent and you don't have to worry about when you wash text. It's for textiles. I, sorry, I forgot to say that. Wash textiles, dishes, whatever it is you're going to put the ink on. You are good to go. Obviously, you wouldn't heat set one of our surfaces or top board or wood because it'll catch on fire, melt, whatever. But textiles and bakeware, glassware, you can do that. You heat set those kind of things. Hey, Angie. You heat set those in your oven. All right. Angie, I hope your day got better, my friend. I hope, I hope, I hope because... Yeah. Anyway, um, like I said earlier, that friend that was helping you this morning, bless your heart, because no, I can't, I can't handle her in my room. All right, so our color palette tonight, I love, and I got my new black velvet paste. I love what I'm seeing when designers have put this kind of used like the black like shadow, you know, so it looks like it's the shadow of the town and the reindeer and Santa's sleigh. So we're going to do that in black and see how this looks. It's also kind of a guinea pig board for my craft fair. And then I'm going to use our shimmer silver for the stars. We're going to do Merry Christmas in our, what is candy apple and jar feels weird tonight. And, um, and to all of what, well, Merry Christmas, in red to all and to all a good night in shimmer gold so that's our color palette all right so let's go ahead and get started here there's always something I know oh I know I hear you girl I hear ya all right so what we do for those who may not be familiar with chalk couture and this is your first time watching welcome I hope you like what you see it's so much fun if you're a crafter this is seriously addicting um, what we do is we have a fuzzing cloth. This is the terry cloth side. This is what we're going to use to fuzz our transfer. We want to pick up some lint to put on just so it gets a little bit on the back of the transfer so that the transfer doesn't stick too hard to our surface. Some of the um, surfaces that you get at other ugh, sorry, I can't talk hobby and craft shops tend to not be as high of quality sometimes as what Chalk Couture has, and you can actually peel off some of the surface in those cases. So we're gonna fuzz on this side. The other side is microfiber. You can use that to clean your surface. You can use it to dry your transfer. You can use it because it's nice and warm and fuzzy. It feels good on your hands. Oh, we just had, I say that I'm being funny, we had a cold front blow through here in Dallas a couple hours ago. When I took my students out to the bus, um, you could feel, like you could really feel it. You could feel the, the warm, humid, muggy, and it just, you could see the storms. You could saw little flashes of lightning, so you could, could see the storms come in, and you could feel that cold wind come along. And I'm like, well, ah, let's get on the, let's the kids get on the bus and let's go. Okay, these are, let me go ahead and explain what I'm doing with this. These are our transfer trimmers. They are seriously the best scissors ever, and I'm, seriously considering ordering a couple more pair just to have around the house and use on my other crafting because they are that awesome. So this transfer does come with a line, a cut line on it, in case you want to use them on different surfaces separately. I've seen some really cute ones where people have used this on our Christmas tree cutouts and just done this part. Um, I've seen people just use this sentiment. I'm going to use both and I'm going to use them on the same board, but it's just going to probably be a little easier for me to not have it all on one big transfer. So we are going to get started. Oh gosh, I just got rid of my live. Ah, what did I just do? I went to go tap for comments to make sure I was keeping up with everything and it's gone. All right, there we go. Alrighty. Oh, I'm back. We're back. We're good. Okay, so I'm going to fuzz this top part real quick. We're going to, oh, you know what? I'm going to do the bottom part first. We're going to fuzz the bottom part first. Our transfer backing sheets, there are two sides, they are double sided, two sided, whatever. We have, oh gosh, there we go. This is a shiny side. This is the side that you want to put your transfer back onto. 
This is more of a plain kind of um, paper side and you will ruin your transfer and lose your mind if you accidentally put it on that side. A lot of designers, go right on the back, they'll put back or they'll put the name of the transfer on the back. I don't do that, you know, I don't know why. I guess I developed a bad habit early <laughs> of not doing that. But I'm just very careful. I can use, pretty easily tell which side is um, the back that you shouldn't stick it on versus the part that the transfer goes on to. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a couple of fuzzes here and make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I always kind of end up off center. All right. I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna, I've got some lint I've picked up, not lint, but like chalk paste I've picked up from my table here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my surface with that microfiber side. Oops, I dropped the towel here. And then I'm going to line up my transfer where I want it and make sure that I allow enough room for the sentiment at the top. I'm gonna pull that down here. Mm, it's a little high, so I'm gonna move it down just a smudge. Let's hang on just a second. Now I've gotten my transfer stuff a little bit. A smidge, not a smudge. Pardon me, I just said a smudge. Huh? A smidge. Okay. I debated and changed my mind, oh my gosh, I don't know, two, three, four times tonight, or not tonight, this afternoon, like on my way home and while I was working, on what I wanted to do tonight, and I settled on this. I kind of was also wanting to use the, our larger Odette surface. This is our Odette boutique board, and it is amazing. Oh, that's one of the part of the surface there okay so this is our four inch handled squeegee what I'm doing is I'm just pressing down to make sure I don't have any air bubbles because if I have air bubbles that can cause my paste to bleed and you don't want to do that because then you've got to I mean it's not the end of the world because Top Couture is easy cleanup the Grinch oh awesome the Grinch and wearing fleece jammies. I love it. Is the Grinch already on or um, is that like Prime, Netflix, something like that? Surely they wouldn't already have it on. Okay, so this is a brand new jar of paste. I love our new lids. They're so easy to peel off. When you open a brand new jar of paste, you need to give it a good stir and you can kind of hear it what we call a snap, crackle, pop with it. So I'm just gonna stir this up real well because it's been obviously sitting in this jar in a warehouse somewhere outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. It's where Talk Couture is based out of, as are most of the crafting companies, quite frankly. So, give it a stir. And um, you want to make sure that your paste is the consistency of cake batter. You don't want it too thick that it won't push all the way through the silk screen easily. You don't want it so thin that it's running everywhere. So cake batter is a good consistency to have. All right. I'm just gonna kind of wipe that off on the side here, but I don't wanna make a huge mess over there. And take my handy little baby wipes and clean that off real quick so it doesn't stain. This is our multi-tool. As the name implies, you can use it for a multitude of things, including stirring the paste. You can also use either end to chalk. This end is great at scooping around the lip of the paste jar to make sure you've got it all off. Our paste doesn't, it's, it goes, a little bit goes a long way is the best way to, I guess, to say that. You don't need much. And when you go, as I'm going to do this in a minute here, I'm going to 
use my squeeze one of my little squeegees and put the paste on and then as I go back I'm going to scrape off the excess and put it back in the paste jar Netflix hey Chris hey girl um I think we're gonna use a mini squeegee for this tonight and I also think I'm gonna use some of our placement tape or transfer tape people call it both and I'm gonna cover up a few of the stars that are a little close to where I'm gonna be chalking so that I don't get black in those because I'm going to do those in silver and I tend to work um, a little sloppily at times and so I just want to make sure that I don't have to wash anything off and redo it Fergus quit looking he's over here gnawing on his paws and making obnoxious noises while doing so Poor baby, his allergies are so bad right now. Like everybody's in Dallas. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, actually I think, I think I just changed my mind. No, I was gonna do the silver first because I, you know, I'm gonna do that. I just changed my mind. I just put the placement tape down for nothing. Um, here's what I'm, well, not for nothing. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am, the silver, our shimmer paste doesn't dry as quickly as some of our others, so it can sit on the board longer. So I'm gonna just, well, there we go. That was a waste. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the silver first. I think that's a better plan now that I sit here thinking about it. So I'm gonna give that a good stir with one of my stir sticks here. So crazy evening, like, you know, I had school, of course, teaching, whatever. And then um, I did some work on this craft fair I'm going to be doing, doing like paperwork stuff. And, um, you know, got home, got Fergus walked, and then logged on to Facebook and saw we have a team meeting at 8.30 my time tonight, and other people are doing some trainings and have guest speakers for Chalk Couture, so. And then my upline went live earlier than he's been, <laughs> I think because of our team meetings, so. Anyway, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm doing my live at my time anyways. I may not have very many people watching, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I just love chalking. It is seriously amazing. Helps me relax, especially after a long day at school. All right, now I'm gonna come back and use my black paste. I'm gonna go ahead and do Santa up here. I'm hoping that this turns out how I'm visualizing it. It's supposed to kind of just be a shadow here. And again, our shimmer paste doesn't dry as quickly as some of our other. But the fact that I just have to put this on in just some pretty big sweeps here I should have just dropped some paste on in various places. It shouldn't, it won't take me as long and so it shouldn't dry. So I'm just pulling the paste along the board on the transfer. Whoa, kind of making a mess of my new jar over here. <gasps> ah, but that's okay. If you didn't make a mess, did you really craft, right? I know all you fellow crafters out there are thinking the same thing. I don't know that there is any such thing as neat crafting. <laughs> if there is, I certainly am not good at it. I know there are probably people who are. Okay. Almost done here and I'll be to the point where I can come back and start squeegeeing off the excess. Okay, this took way more paste than I thought to get all this is big, bigger silk screen area covered. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and just squeegee this off. I am gonna work fairly quickly. 
You don't want to leave the excess on for a couple reasons. Number one, that would be wasteful. And the bigger reason is you can actually kind of leave streaks. And I'm in danger of doing that right now with how I'm doing this. You don't want to leave streaks in your design. So you just got to be careful. And then in a minute here, I'm going to peel, not a minute, in a second here. Oh gosh, end up with black paste all over there. I'm going to have to quickly clean my fingers because the paste does dry quickly and it can dry within that silk screen mesh and then your design is kind of messed up and you don't want to do that. You don't want to have that. Oh, I didn't squeegee off Santa. Ah! Yikes, he started drying. That may be a redo. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull straight up to the ceiling. Yeah, you can kind of see my streaks down here a little bit. That's okay, it'll dry. Lay that over. No, that's not a good place to lay that. I'm gonna do that over here. And try and get the black paste cleaned up off of my fingers real quick. All right, so that's what we have so far. And the reindeer, Santa and the reindeer did dry a little bit. I kind of forgotten. I should have done what we call, and I'll have to remember this for the future, paste and peel. And so that's what, what I should have done, now that I stop and think about it, is I should have done the stars like I did and the Santa and then peel back that part of the transfer and peel it back far enough to expose all the little silver stars in the sky. And then take, in my, take a hair dryer, I have a hair dryer I keep in here, and on the warm or cool setting, I usually start, excuse me, I usually start with the warm setting and just for a minute, just kind of do the hair dryer over it and then turn it to the cool setting or give it the shot of cold air. I guess mine has a shot of cold air. And dry, you know, finish drying it for about 30 seconds and cool the surface back down to that temperature. I just did that again with this. Okay. So that's our black outline here. I'm trying to figure out what happened there. Oh, well, that's what that tree is supposed to look like. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead while I'm kind of waiting for that to dry a little more. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my squeegee. I'm done with my black paste so I can go ahead and get that cleaned up and put back. All right. looks good and get the silver cleaned up I am going to use the silver one more time on some of the stars up top and I can clean off my squeegee real quick to have a fresh start when I'm gonna do that in a minute okay our multi-tool I was explaining earlier this end can be used to kind of clean up your paste jar clean up the rim of it there to make sure it doesn't get all caked in or caked on and it's actually in the jar okay there we go I do go through baby wipes like crazy I got these at Walmart I got a couple packs at Walmart about a month ago but I need to go I need to go and get the Costco ones quite frankly that's what I need to need to do because there are more in the Bought. There's a ton. There's a whole box, obviously. It's Costco we're talking about. So, all right. So my gold, I mean, pardon me, my silver is ready. I need to prep my gold and my candy apple. Put the black back over there. I did order another candy apple. And you can see I didn't do a good job of cleaning the inside rim of this the inside of the um, candy apple jar so it's gotten all caked on. You'd think I'd learn, but apparently I didn't. 
Okay, I'm gonna spray some distilled water in here because again, we want a cake batter consistency with this. Give it a good stir. I probably should have ordered with all the Christmas stuff I'm gonna be doing, especially for this um, shop, shop with a purpose evening at my old church um, for their women's ministry Christmas thing. I'm going to be using a lot of candy apple. A lot. And uh, that's still kind of thick. So give it another spray. Our ultra fine mist sprayer is amazing too. And it's filled with distilled water. Using distilled water prevents your paste from molding. Because after several months, if you haven't used it, um, your paste, if you've sprayed regular tap water in it, your paste will mold. Because that's just what tap water does when it comes in contact with whatever is in our paste. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I've made the, a mess of my multi-tool Fergus, baby. I think my gold is probably okay because I just used it the other night. Yep, we're good. We're good on the gold. Check and black. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Yeah, I do too. I think it's a cool look. Sorry, I gotta get off little paste pieces. Okay, we've got to fuzz this particular piece of the transfer now. The Merry Christmas to all. The sentiment. I'm gonna put that in my lap though. Put it in my lap because I'm kind of out of room up here. I don't know. I may. I was going to go back once the board is dry. I had thought about going back and kind of chalking over Santa and his reindeer, but I kind of like the distressed look that it has. That is something that Chalk Couture has started doing because that distressed look is so in with the farmhouse style and stuff and the vintage. Um, and it actually helps because if you mess up, you don't have to worry about it as much. It doesn't, it's not as obvious. So I like that they've added some of the distressed look to our, some of our designs and transfers. Okay, I think that's good. Let's see what we've got here, friends. Let's check this out. I just did that again. I'll tell you what. How do you open that sprayer? Oh, Patricia, oh no. Hang on, girl. I'll tell you in just a second here. I couldn't figure it out either. You are not the only one. I think half the designers couldn't figure out how to how to open it. Hang on and let me just get this down and I will show you. And once you do it one time, Patricia, then it gets easier. Okay, I think that's good. We'll finish that. So um, you just, you have to barely twist and pull. It's got this little tube in it. Can you see that okay on the, so I just bear and then put it back down and you just give it just a half little twist. So the first time it's, it's hard and you kind of feel like you're going to break it, but you just kind of do that to it and pull up at the same time. It's like, it's a quarter of a twist. So hopefully that helps. Trust me, like I said, we all were like, how do you open this thing? That's kind of funny. Okay, so I'm going to run my four inch handled squeegee over my transfer and make sure that I don't have any air bubbles because that, like I said earlier, would cause my paste to bleed and I don't want to have to go back and fix anything. All right, sorry about the nails on the chalkboard sound that you can get with that sometimes. All right, and now Fergie baby. A little schnauzer over here. Um, chomping on his paws. Okay. I think I'm gonna do the stars again first. I'm gonna put it on a little thicker this time. So the stars again in silver, and just I'm gonna leave that 
I kind of scraped most of it off on the bottom and it, I mean it was okay but I'm gonna leave that and then I'm gonna do Merry Christmas in red I love this candy apple red it is perfect for the holidays I, have, I opened up my windows upstairs. It's like 57, 58 degrees outside, but the house was still warm because I don't run the air during the day. Like I leave it at 79, so it usually doesn't turn on. You know what? I'm going to do paste and peel on this. I can already tell my red is drying, so I will have a good opportunity to demonstrate that for y'all in just a minute here. Um, so it probably doesn't help. So anyway, I, I, it's set at 79, and obviously it didn't remotely get that hot in here today because it's cooled down in Texas finally. But it's still like 73, 74 and kind of stuffy, so I wanted fresh air. And I can finally feel it coming in. It feels amazing. It's a little humidity, it's a little humid, there's some humidity in it because it's been raining. Y'all, there's like People in the text from who are familiar with Texas, or you know where the Texas, like Amarillo, up in the Texas Panhandle. I think most people know where the Panhandle is, obviously. Um, they've gotten like five inches of snow. And I'm like, I want snow. Okay, I'm gonna quickly squeegee off my silver, and I mean quick because my red's starting to dry. Done, and I'm gonna peel this off straight up. And I'm gonna actually put my fuzzing cloth down over here so that it doesn't hit hopefully that's dry enough down there so that it doesn't hit the bottom part of my transfer where I'm gonna put the gold okay Merry Christmas that I don't know that font looks a little funny to me it's supposed to be that way it just looks a little funny to me I kind of like the crisper, cleaner fonts and some of their um, script fonts um, aren't, but that's okay to each his own. My hands are just a mess, y'all. That black will get you every time, that black ink and paste. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and I'm gonna hook up the hair dryer here so that we can dry the sentiment real quick before I Hey, Trista. Hey, Marie. Yeah, Patricia. I know. Just give it a shot. Just like I said, just you're going to have to force it the first time. And it's just about a quarter of a turn. So, okay. Let me... Hey, Trista. I heard back. I got my stuff into Melissa and her back and we're all set. So, yay. I'm going to move all this out of the way so I don't knock it onto the floor. I don't need red, silver, and gold flooring carpeting in here what I need is to put like I want to put that wood look laminate or tile flooring up here in my craft room all right let me make sure I have this on the right plug setting plug it in pardon me here take a good look at my gray roots I need done <laughs> all right I'm gonna dry this real quick so give me just a minute actually no I do need that on high gently lay this back over the area that I chalked and push down on oh gosh did I go too far on that 
a little bit. Okay, hang on. I just noticed I got, well, that's okay. It'll be okay. A little bit of red on that T there, but okay. We're going to use gold now, and then that's going to be it. How quick and easy was that? So I'm going to put gold shimmer for to all a good night. I, and anybody who watches me regularly knows, I'm just obsessed with these shimmer pastes. They are my favorite. Now there's airplanes. I don't live too far from the big DFW airport. Maybe like, I don't know, as the crow flies, 10 miles. And so when the wind is blowing out of the north to the south, the planes are taking off to the north. And they fly over my house, these huge jumbo headed to Europe planes in South America. And they come and they turn. They're going to South America or they keep going and turn up this way for Europe. So these 777, 747s, Airbuses, all those, they're flying over my house at like six or 7,000 feet and it's really loud. I can hear them right now. Okay, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Let's take a look, y'all. We'll hold it up. Okay, there we have it. Like I said, I'm still, this is kind of my guinea pig. I'm still kind of playing around with color palettes right now. And that, you guys can't see that. I need to move it towards the skeleton, which is this way. I have to remember to look at the background to make sure. Hey, Carrie. I probably need to move it a little more again, it looks like, and hopefully we can squeeze the whole thing in here. I'm trying to make sure it's all centered. And it's really hard to tell the red. I mean, I don't know. It's really, it's a lot brighter than what it looks on the screen here. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Hopefully it's not coming in my house because I have the window open. But there we go. That's tonight's project. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Again, this is on our Odette um, 12 by 18 boutique board. I will post a picture in the comments. I haven't done right now because of the weather and it's getting it's getting dark early and stuff. I'm not really staging my photos. I know I need to. I'm just trying to get pictures and get them out there posted on the page for everyone to see. Um, but I'm trying my goal. Good grief, all these. Okay, I feel like Ken Hess right now. Nancy, if you're still watching, I feel like Ken. I feel like my house is haunted. I've got things like falling and making weird noises over here. All right, so anyway, I will take a photo tonight. I'm working on getting a lot of stuff prepped. We're gonna be making door tags next week or maybe even later in the weekend and embellishing things. I'll probably, when this board ultimately, when I decide what I'm gonna do with it and how I like the look, we'll get some ribbon or maybe some embellishments and jingle bells, stuff like that. But I will just snap a quick photo, again, not staged, just the project so that everybody can see what it looks like. All right, so, oh, thank you, Patricia. Thanks. I love the black and I love the combination of red and gold at Christmas. I don't know. And then throw in some silver in there. Maybe I should have done the stars in gold as well. I don't know. Still kind of thinking and playing around on things. So anyway, but that's it, friends. That is it for tonight. Sorry, I need to move my lights out of the way so I don't crash into them on the way to turn it off. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via Messenger. Message my page, Jen's Creative Talkers. Um, if you are interested in more information about Talk Couture, comment with info and I will happily get in touch with you. So everybody have a great evening and I will be back tomorrow with a probably a quick project tomorrow evening. 
Um, I'm going to try and stay at school as long as possible tomorrow afterwards. So I don't have to go into school this weekend and work. So anyway, thank you, my sweet friends. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Patricia. You too. I will see y'all later. Bye.